hello everyone and welcome back to another video if you follow me on social media you probably know that the last couple of days have been pretty rough for me but instead of making another negative video i'm going to be filming another sjsu q a i'll ask you all to ask me questions on instagram and i'm also going to be answering some questions that have been asked on youtube for those of you that are new i'll be going into my senior year at sjsu in the fall and i'm a pr major and political science minor i've lived off campus in cambrian park for my entire time at sjsu so i can't answer any questions about the dorms but i'm going to try to answer as many of your non-dorm related questions as I can. I'm also going to be making an updated orientation video for next week so if you have any questions you want me to answer in that video feel free to leave those down in the comments below. I got quite a few questions about some of the recent scandals that have happened to SJSU. I'm not going to go too far into these because I don't want this to be a negative video but with the track thing I think they should save the track and not build a parking lot and use that money instead to get a bar contract and with the athletics to Pazian situation I'm very disappointed with that whole situation. I think the main priorities of any organization or company it should be to take care of your customers and take care of your employees. And SJSU is struggling a lot with both of those things right now. And the same statement applies to the whole student housing situation as well. I still think that SJSU is a good school and I would still recommend going there, but I do have some problems with some of the things that are going on. The first real question that I'm going to answer is I'm also planning on majoring in PR. What are your thoughts on the program and do you have any advice? Overall, I really like the PR program and I'm really glad that I chose it. There's a lot of great professors, there's also some not so great professors. My personal favorite professors are Professor Cabot and Professor Fletcher. I'd also highly recommend taking a class with Professor Rucker for one of your JMC electives. They are changing some things in the program and they are creating some new classes and they are revising the syllabuses for some of the classes. So things might be different by the time that you get into the upper division classes, but I think that things are definitely heading in a positive direction with the PR program. The next question is, I'm transferring to SJC from SoCal. Where should I live? There's three main ways that you can go about the whole housing thing. The first is obviously to live in the dorms. The second is to live in downtown San Jose. A lot of people live in apartments around campus, especially 27 North. And the third option is to live in other places in San Jose or the Bay Area. I think it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want to live on campus and you want to have someone else cook your food, so the dorms are a great option. You have no commute at all. You're just right there on campus and from what I've heard, it's pretty great. And living close to campus is also great because there's a lot more to do in downtown than other parts of San Jose and you'll most likely be able to walk to class every day which is really easy. Third option which is living outside of downtown is the option that I chose mainly because of money. Downtown is getting pretty expensive and you can live for a lot less elsewhere. If you're looking for somewhere to live I would highly recommend looking for places near a light rail station or somewhere along El Camino or Stevens Creek because all those areas have great transit options that are also free for students. As I mentioned in a bunch of videos you can get a smart pass clever card for literally only three dollars and this gives you unlimited rides on BTA regular and rapid buses and light rails so if you live close to good transit you can use this to get to campus literally for free. If you have any specific questions about neighborhoods feel free to DM me. I'm always totally open to giving you guys advice. Next question is what's the best major? I don't want to be broke after I graduate. I think the answer to this question really depends on you and your interests and your values. Obviously an engineering major is going to have a higher chance of getting a better job than an art major but I personally don't think that you should go into something that you don't really like and that you wouldn't be happy doing every single day. So if you like art major in art, if you like engineering major in engineering, if you like something else major in that. I really think that's important to pick a major that you really enjoy but to answer your question engineering majors probably make the most money after graduation and it's probably the best major to pick if you want to make sure that you're going to have a high paying job after you graduate the next question is how do you graduate on time for those of you that don't know i am graduating on time i applied for graduation earlier this year and i will be graduating next spring so all you really need to do to graduate on time is make sure that you're taking at least 15 units per semester because you need 120 units to graduate so if you're having trouble getting classes at sjsu I would highly recommend taking some classes at a community college nearby and transferring them. So I took two of my G's at West Valley College in Saratoga and transferred them and that really helped me out and helped me to graduate on time. The next question which is somewhat related is can you graduate on time with a double major? I'm not a double major so I can't really answer this from personal experience but I do think that it is probably possible and you are willing to take the max number of units or take classes at community college over the summer or winter. The next question is do you need a car in San Jose? You absolutely don't need a car in San Jose as I said in my video last week. I've been living without a car in San Jose for the last three years and it's been perfectly fine. Transit's kind of slow here but it definitely gets you where you need to go and you can get one of these and take it for free so you definitely don't need a car in San Jose if you're willing to be patient. The next question is where's the best place to get a job? I worked for a few different companies and organizations while I've been at SJSU. Most of them were off campus but by far my favorite job is the job that I have currently on campus at Associated Students Transportation Solutions. I really like my job right now. I like my coworkers. I like what I get to do every day. So, so I'd highly recommend associated students. If you're looking for jobs on campus,
campus or off campus, I would highly recommend checking out SJSU Handshake. It's basically a job website for SJSU students and it's a really good place to find jobs. Last question that I'm gonna answer is what's the best place to get coffee near SJSU? I usually drink coffee at my house to save money, but when I do get coffee in downtown, it's usually at Phil's. So those are all the questions that I'm gonna answer today. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below or DM me on Instagram or Twitter and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.